history. And as Elise showed, a lot of people go there, but also beautiful weather brought people out too. Well, tonight, uh, Josh, you have a beautiful view from Lincoln yeah. City. And I told you, hey, look at the moon. You go, that's not the moon. That's the light from a ship out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Over the past 20 minutes or so, I've kind of been watching it float along the horizon as it kind of fights through some of that fog layer that's now starting to develop, not only along the shoreline, but up and down the I-5 corridor. No surprise that the fog is starting to develop as our temperatures currently sit at about 40 degrees in Lincoln City, and it's only going to get colder from here across Western Oregon. But if you are making any plans to go out to the shoreline in the coming days, sneaker waves are going to be the biggest concern in conjunction with the king tides. So sneaker waves are those waves that are a little bit more unpredictable and could quite frankly sneak up on you. So a good reminder is to stay off those rocks and jetties and never turn your back on the ocean. Now, as I was walking into work today, I was able to see some daffodils popping up across the Portland metro area. And if you happen to see any spring sites across your neighborhood, we'd love to see it and continue the conversation here on Coin 6 News because we're only 60 days away from the first day of spring. Just the stones throw away as the fog layer quickly starts to find its way back into Western Oregon and Washington, the Hawthorne Bridge from about two hours ago or so. And again, you can follow me on any of those social media platforms where we can continue to share our weather stories here across the Pacific Northwest. Live look now over downtown Portland, kind of becoming a little bit more hazy out there as our temperature falls to about 35 degrees. The temperatures, they will continue to tumble as we get back into the 5, 7 o'clock morning time frame. We'll be flirting with the freezing mark, which is 32 degrees. The reason being, well, typically we see the cloud coverage that helps act like a blanket. So we get the short wave radiation in from the sun. Long wave radiation is trapped by the cloud coverage. But with that being absent today, all that long wave radiation is just able to escape back out into space. Thus, our temperatures falling close to freezing. And when you have the calm winds, the clear skies and those colder temperatures, that's the perfect ingredients to create a fog layer near the surface. So that's exactly what is happening right now through the Willamette Valley. And that's going to be reducing our visibility anywhere from about 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Use those low beams and make sure to give yourself plenty of space between you and the vehicle in front of you. As the clouds held tight to much of Western Oregon and Washington today, that now a distant memory as those clouds started to break free. Although Portland, you held on to them for much of the day. It wasn't until about sunset that we finally were able to see a little bit of that sunshine. Now it only takes one dry day to kind of tip the scale. We were above average for the month of January, now below, but only by about seven one hundredths of an inch. As high pressure continues the drying trend into Friday as we prepare for a developing low pressure system along this weakening front to push back the moisture in Western Oregon and Washington by the time we get into Saturday afternoon. So fog to start the day tomorrow, sunshine by the afternoon, rain, it does return by the time time we get to Saturday afternoon. 46 though, our daytime high for tomorrow. North winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. That sunshine, it will be a nice change of pace for us as those temperatures continue to ride out just at about normal for this time of year. But Monday into Tuesday and Wednesday, we do see those drying skies once again. So not a lot of room to complain here for us. But I also want to note that tomorrow is also our first 5 p.m. sunset of 2023. All right, that is something to look forward to it and is. Friday. Josh, thank you. Still to come.